cut so much you thought I was a DJ. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary things. and go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. Hey, Olivia, we're going to the order for a reason, okay? And that reason is because they'll know what to do. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard's, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <laughs> Think fast, Jesse. What to choose? So long as you really know what you're doing with it. tracks now time to move buddy let's go i never doubted you for a second but but that was incredible maybe we have a chance of getting to eligard after all look there's the sign redstonia redstonia here we come We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <clears throat>
Estonia. I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, oh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Well, you need to take us to her. It's really, really important. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Of course, you might also want to hang on to it. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Stupid cow launching. <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. Just be going, then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that! Sheesh. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, if you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed, be astounded, let your wonder 
Brothers, be compounded! Hey, that farmer over there sent me. The one with all the sugar cane? Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all the cowapulting is really bothering her. Do you think you could stop? Oh, well, she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. Come on, isn't this beneath you? You've already perfected the cowapult, clearly. Shouldn't you start turning your attention to new pursuits? You actually make a lot of sense, friend. Maybe it is time to find my next masterpiece to be. Huh, thanks for helping me get my head right. Hmm, maybe a Tremu Shay next. Hi there. What? what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool, theoretically. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man, cool. Just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome, thanks. Stone. Jackpot. That's some nice stone. Still warm. Okay, I can do this. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Done. Pretty nice, if I may compliment myself. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Bam! Door open! Wow! Here it is! Elagard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us.
redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. What are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients, it must be something really, really big. Try not to touch anything until we know what it does, okay? I wasn't gonna touch anything. I was just going to look really carefully. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency, speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Uh-huh, okay. All right, here we go. Let's rock this block with another test. Whoa, hi, hey, didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <gasps> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jessie, she thinks we're her new assistants. This is so exciting. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you! Goggle Girl, switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy, grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself then. Come on, come on, come on. Big winner, big winner, big. Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts, gone. <laughs> I could see that. I have to confess something, Eligard. We're not here to be your assistants. Whew. 
Kind of glad, actually. What with Madame faints a lot over there. <laughs> so, why are you here? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. Ooh, I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory with a side of sweet, sweet redstone engineering. I know that making a command block probably seems like a great idea, but you really don't want to do that. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. It's very, very dangerous. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. So do you believe us now? Yes. This is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Don't you understand? No, you can't do that. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here, in my brain. I could help, too. Eligard, I'm sorry, but no, I can't let you do this. Please, we have to go. Go? This seems terribly short-sighted. I thought you were the brains of your little trio. This could be the greatest invention the world has ever seen. It could change everything. You'll understand when you see it, I promise. There's no time. While I'm very glad you want my assistance, and trust me, I won't faint, I'm still not sure why. Oh, my circuits. you were telling the truth. I'm beginning to feel we should get to the portal. Now. As soon as possible. The portal! Hurry! No! <laughs> Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. 
I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Gabriel! Hello, everyone. It is good to see you. He showed up not too long before you guys. Eligard, my old friend. Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. Maybe with you here, we actually stand a chance against this thing. Oh, how I've missed your optimistic spirit. Oh, and it's especially good to see you, Jesse. I fear that you might be the last face I ever saw. Getting here was hard. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. If you hadn't pulled me out of the Witherstorm's clutches, well, let's just not think about that. I came here to the temple, hoping against hope to find other survivors. It makes me glad that, even in these terrible times, this temple can stand as a stronghold, a symbol. Wow, did Petra get away too? Did you see? All that creature left in its wake was bedrock. All those people. Your friend Petra. No one could get away. It destroyed my home too. I barely got away. It needs to be stopped. We are alive. That means there's still hope. Come along. Everyone else is still inside. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Oh, this isn't going to go well. Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Holy crap, I can't believe it. That's Magnus the Rogue. Oh, I always forget that there are people that actually like seeing that idiot. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? Why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, huh? Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were gonna be here. That makes two of us, then. But reverse, for me. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. Now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Way to go, Axel. Well, it wasn't easy. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus, that's very sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. I'll never understand your fans. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people! Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. Little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus, I'm telling you. This thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse speaks the truth. We must find a way to defeat that monstrosity. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty 
pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. Wait, Magnus. She may have a point. Soren did have certain objects, inventions. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. A Formida bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never it's seen it real. before. It's real. I swear. Well, the Formida bomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is, but we found Magnus and Eligard. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the Nether, or the End. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times. But it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. That's probably the only time you made the right call. So you guys, what, don't know where it is? Whoa. It didn't do that before. Who is that? Oh, no, it's... That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning. Avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave. Now! I think it's following us, Magnus. And I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go. Now. It's so bad that you're gonna just go waltzing out in the woods at night. It's not night yet. We'll just go as fast as we can. I think Magnus might be right. And he's not usually a big fan of safety. Okay. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Hey. Thanks. Yo, we haven't really gotten the chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. 
Gabe over there says you saved him from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea or didn't think you could handle it? I do have that effect on people sometimes. I figured that we needed brains to fight the Witherstorm. And brains means Eligard. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. Why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. We can hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Zorin? It can't be much further. Not much farther. We can make it. from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Don't fall, okay? Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. Crazy. Looks like Ruben thought so too. Uh -huh. That was way too close. Thought I wasn't gonna make it. Whoa! Look! What is that? Enderman. I'm glad we made it. Looks rough down there. Yeah, no kidding. Come on, we should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow. This architecture, it's... incredible. 
Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Oh, be quiet! It's just a pointless building! That's all I'm saying! I mean, look at- it! I'm going! Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this Super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no! You do not get to be the one who walks away! That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Forget them. We're here now, so let's focus on what's important. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Gabriel, are you okay? I know it's not the best time, and I, I don't want to worry you. But if there's something I'd like to discuss with you in private, Jesse. But let's split up. I'm aware that letting them head off alone is risky, but I need to talk to you about a private matter. It's not the easiest thing to bring up. I don't want to worry the others. So, I thought it best that we talk one-on-one. -on -one. I'm so glad to see my old friends together again. I don't want to ruin it with this. What? You may have succeeded in getting me away from the Witherstorm, but I fear it was already too late. I noticed it not long after you saved me. What is that? What's wrong with your arm? Tell me. Do you know what Wither is? The Wither? Of course. We've been... No. Just Wither. Or Wither Sickness, to be more descriptive. It is something I've contracted before in my travels, but it always wears off. It seems that Ivor's monster exudes a wither sickness that is decidedly more... fatal. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. No, Jesse. You can't tell anyone about this. Ah! <sighs> Creeper! Look out! Take my hand! I'll pull you up! My strength is compromised! I couldn't maintain my hold! I'm so sorry! Jesse, are you alright? Don't worry, I'm fine. Time to be a hero again. Stay safe! I'll find a way down to you! <laughs>
must have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Is he just collecting them? He can't have read all of these. Soren, is that you? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here, so now you may find it back out again. What are you doing down Being here? Being rudely interrupted by you. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Sorry, Ivor, I'm... Stop right there, Ivor! Gabriel! You're alive! Against all your best efforts, Ivor. Look at what you've done. I never dreamt that even you could be this twisted. Save your posturing, Gabriel. We both of your words have always been hollow. Just like the Order. You're not going anywhere anymore. At least not in one piece. I'm not letting him leave either. I'm the only one who can stop the Wither Storm! Not you, not the Order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. <laughs> Stay and fight, you coward! This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first! Look out! He's using a potion of swiftness! We mustn't let him escape! <laughs> I'm like the wind! Way, Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let him leave. Invisible or not, he isn't going to get by me. <laughs> Please, I just stand down. This one's on you, you puffed up fool! There's no time for this. Jesse! Gabriel! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. Stopped him. Hmm. False. You have stopped nothing. A query. Have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? Magnus and Eligard may think they can stop me, that they can destroy the Wither Storm. But they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? 
Is there any way to cure Gabriel's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or will they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. <laughs>